Hey, I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Cause it's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit to do. So this is the uh the final uh I wouldn't say final, but it's the uh the final before the last pieces, and I'll show you what the last pieces will be. It's got the lights, it's got the tail lights, um, it's got the up, uploaded or upgraded uh, motor, 36 volt, 800 watt motor, 48 volt, 1000 watt fast screws controller, 48 volt, 15 AH BTR power battery. Uh, how I have it here is it has all these holes. This is exactly how it was stock holding the batteries in with this. The only difference is I have the big, huge uh, battery going all the way up to there. So you can literally put it in and slide it up like that. And then you have your charger and cord right here. Uh, see everything zip tied here around the battery and then zip tied holding these zip ties up and the Z these zip ties to each other. And then these zip ties go through the, one of these holes on this side, on both sides. Okay, and then these are just screwed in. The motor, you see how the motor's sitting in there? It looks, looks uh, normal. Got the bolts you can see too. Check this out, man. You think I had to uh, do any uh, cutting? Nope, I thought I would. I was even gonna start right here. This motor is sitting, look, I don't even have the two. You see how this is, there's a gap here? Just a slight little, oh no, three millimeter gap maybe because of it sitting on the shelf, this little frame here. I have the longer screw and nut. It's not as, it's a 5 16th and it's not as long as that one up there, but I got longer for that because of that gap. I didn't even end up using them. I didn't even drill the holes for those. As soon as I drilled these two holes, I lined it up and I drilled these two holes. When I lined it up, hold on, let me get back to that. When I lined it up and I put it on the chain, I was shocked that I was like, man, this could work. I mean, it's not gear to gear like RC, it's chain on a sprocket. So you got more wiggle room, not everything that have to be perfect. The motor's gotta be locked down, but it can be at a slight angle because it's a chain. So I, I'm, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not worried about this at all. We've been doing it for days. I, I haven't even told anybody really, except for Tom at Fast Scooters, how I put this in there. Um, because I've just been doing testing, you know, bumps, all this stuff. This, I had to do a couple different things, not this. I had them twist tied originally and had this twist tied or uh, twist tied it differently and it kept sliding a little bit. So this is the final thing to where it's gonna stay. Uh, I said that this wasn't final because of the two nuts in the back. May I drill the two holes in the back and use those longer screws? I might, but does it need it? No, it doesn't. I've done jumps with it, all that. You can see the nuts on the bottom right here. There's the nuts on the bottom, only two in the front. This motor, man, that's sitting on the, on the frame is not going anywhere. Okay, tighten these things up nice and tight. And I'm not worried about it, man. I'm not worried about it. And obviously, I've already showed you. It sits on the on the thing fine. Nothing, nothing's wrong with it, man. Things just awesome. All right. Put the 14 tooth pinion on. Um, it was a 10 millimeter with this end on the wrench on this side, and then a 12 millimeter over here. And instead of going right to or instead of going left to loosen you would go right to loosen it's the opposite instead of righty tighty like the loosey